I would personally call myself a folk singer because I sing traditional songs, purely traditional songs and traditional songs that I've reworked or I sing my own songs or I'll play an instrumental piece of music and I think folk is a broad enough umbrella to encompass all of that. One Christmas my parents gave me a wee accordion accordion was my ticket into Cayley bands and things like that and from then on got very heavily involved in traditional music. When I was in an accordion orchestra my accordion teacher decided he wanted a singer to front the band as well and somehow that became me. And the echo mocks the corn creek among the honey I didn't get into songwriting until I was at college at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama and songwriting was one of the uh, modules I could take for my honours year. Traditional music was a great way into it because I would take traditional words which was the part that I really struggled with in the beginning and I would create new melodies which I found much easier and that was the sort of stepping stone into songwriting. The leaves are falling from the trees Farewell for now summer breeze. I try quite hard to source songs that haven't been sung before or haven't been reworked before so a lot of that involves looking through old songbooks. I pick them up in second-hand bookshops or in libraries or friends houses and just lots of hours sitting reading through different versions of songs. I'm quite passionate about doing songs from my home region in Dumfries and Galloway. Come home, pretty bird, you've been too long away. The new album is called Too Long Away, which is one of the lines from one of the songs on the album called Come Home, Pretty Bird. For me, this album was very much a homecoming. It's the first one that I've made, having moved back down to Dumfriesshire, and it's where my roots are. I like local history, I like to be able to go and visit the spots where something took place or imagine what event happened there and I think that's why I'm really drawn to always thinking gosh here's a ballad but I wonder if there's one with a similar version situated geographically in Dumfriesshire. Caledonia, uh, the words to that one are traditional and the melody was written by a fantastic Scottish singer called Tony Cuff. A sailor and his true love lay didn't make their moan when it It's basically the tale about a, a girl who's led astray by a, a sailor who sees her as an opportunity to make some money but fortunately she's rescued by the ship's captain who decides to marry her. Mermaid of Galloway is obviously a, a song from Dumfries in Galloway. The words were written by a man called Alan Cunningham hundreds of years ago and at the time to get his song published he tried to pass the song off as being traditional because the, the song collector was only collecting traditional songs. And so that's where I got the text from and reworked it and uh, wrote the melody. But the story is about young Cow Hill who is a, I guess just a, a local young man and he is um, betrothed to a, a girl in Galloway, but he, is, he falls under a, a spell of a mermaid who drags him off to sea. Well, Sir John's a wooing, gone to a maid of beauty fair. May Calvin has this lady's name, her feathers only. May Colvin is a very old ballad and it tells the story of a king's daughter called May Colvin who is um, pursued by Sir John who turns out to be very false and has uh, evil plans for May Colvin but she, she manages to outsmart him. So swift as May 
call the noise she pushed him in the sea Bleacher Lassie O'Kelvin Kelvin Hall is a song from Glasgow and uh, the Bleacher Lassies were the girls who used to bleach clothes on the banks of the River Kelvin on the riverside and the song um, is about a couple, the girl in the song is a Bleacher Lassie and her man is a, a sailor and he goes away off to sea for seven years and comes back and uh, sort of chats her up. She doesn't quite recognise him at first and so he tests her to see if she's remained true to him and uh, fortunately she has. Oh Lassie, Lassie, you have been faithful Oh Lassie, Lassie, you have been true For I'm your young lad and single sailor Was come afar, for to wed with you Audience of souls, I'll sit here before you and I'll sing to you a song. Sing Audience of Souls a is a song that I wrote um, after spending an afternoon in a graveyard, very close to, to where I live. I just, I just took a walk up there one afternoon, it's a very old graveyard, and spent some time thinking about the people that have been and, and had their time and just what they would make of the world that we live in today. As I was wandering on midsummer's evening. As I was wandering is a Robert Burns song, and um, I was drawn to that one because he had written it from a woman's point of view, being very well known for uh, admiring the ladies. I thought it was nice that he had paused to to think about how a woman sees a, the side of a relationship, although. She's, she's still been dumped in the song, but he gives her quite a, a positive outlook in that she, she decides she's not going to let this man break her heart. With the new album, I'd like to think that I'll reach maybe a broader audience. I've, I feel personally I'm moving away from purely just being known as a traditional singer. Um, so hopefully with the balance of traditional songs and also newly written songs, that will um, help me reach more people. Sorry, that wasn't a very good answer. May Colvin's a very old ballad with lots of different versions, and uh, it tells the story of a king's doctor. King's doctor, sorry, speaking in Scots. <coughs> <That's good. laughs> a like king's doctor. Expression.